What is going on my friends? Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. So I get a lot of questions in regards to the glycemic index. I myself am not a macro counter. So because I don't do it, I do not preach it to my clients. I do have a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching clients that have come from the macro counting world. Now they're trying to just find their healthy balance like this little one. Can you say hello? Hi. Oh, she's got some bubble gum. She's got a coochie coo. 9.30 in the morning. It's pink. It's pink and I got bubble gum and it's purple and it's like five, five, like fiber. It's like fiber. It's like fiber. Okay, so my goal for today is to explain the glycemic index why I do stress the importance of focusing on low glycemic nutrition. Focusing on fiber and peaches. Fiber and peaches. And also understanding that I'm not against macro counting. Macro counting is a great tool. However, I feel that not enough emphasis is on the quality of food in which we're consuming, and it's more focused on numerical values. And for mindset, I know for myself, for my clients, it's just not the best approach in terms of keeping your mind right. At the end of the day, if this is not on point, and this is just too stressed out, and so focused on this, and oh my goodness this, and I didn't do this, then this is never going to be the way that you want it to be. Point blank and period. I've worked with so many people over the last 19 years and every single time someone is doing everything they need to do in the kitchen, in the gym, but they are all off up here, nothing changes, nothing changes. But the people that are enjoying life, they're doing what they gotta do the majority of the time, they're splurging some of the time, having some cocktails, having some high glycemic foods, and their mind is right, they're like, meh, you know, tomorrow I'll do better. They're the ones that are transforming. So if that doesn't show you how much mindset matters, I don't know what will. So, okay, I'm gonna get to it. So the glycemic index is a ranking system for foods that contain carbohydrates. It was originally designed for diabetics. Now we're realizing that everyone can benefit from this tool. Um, when we consume a food with carbohydrates, so that's basically everything except for straight protein and straight fiber, our body digests it, right, at a different speed. So when we're consuming something high glycemic, like white bread, white rice, candy bars, cookies, all the things that we know are not the best options, and also things like pretzels and rice cakes, the things that we might think that are great options, but they're really not, our body digests it very quickly. Then the pancreas shoots out insulin in order to bring blood sugar back down to baseline. That's the goal there, to bring everything back down to baseline, right? But if we have such a quick rise and a quick fall in blood sugar, and you feel it, you've got that sugar buzz, which is great, right? And then you have that crash, and then you eat again, and then it goes up and down. But the problem is that insulin cannot keep up and we eventually become insulin resistant. It's like anything else. You, you know, if you're drinking alcohol, an alcoholic has to have more and more and more to feel the same effect. Same thing goes with insulin. So we're gonna have that elevated insulin, which means we are in a fat storage zone. So it's not only bad for diabetics who eventually the insulin resistance will lead to type two type two diabetes, um, and then everything's out of whack, but it's also bad for fat storage and a world of other things, but we don't need to get into that today. So when you consume a low glycemic food, things that are higher in protein, things that I'm going to show you today, then it's slowly digested. So blood sugar just spikes just minimally. Insulin only has to, just a little bit needs to be released to bring everything back down. Everything can go back down simultaneously. And that's great because that keeps us in a fat burning zone. When we're in the presence of insulin, we can't burn fat efficiently. That is the problem here. So even the people that are only having like 800 or 1,000 calories a day, they can still develop type two diabetes, they can still be skinny fat. So it's not calories in versus calories out. 
It really is not. It's the types of foods in which we're consuming and what is going on in our body with hormones. Okay, so. I'm just mine because, because it has a lot of sugar in it. Again, because you can't eat it and you can't, you, you can't chomp, but you can't chomp the stick because it will make your sound yucky. Yes, well, she is showing you a low glycemic option, okay? So that's what we are going to show you today. And I'll get to the coochie coos, but great option if you have children that love sweets like my own. Coochie Coo is a brand that is not only gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's certified organic, which is great. Uh, sweet and naturally, and they are amazing. They're very tart. If you've not had them, then you need to give them a go. You can order them on Amazon. And with this, we're going to start right here since my daughter was showing you her Coochie Coo. So carbohydrates, when you are trying to look at a food and distinguish whether or not it's high glycemic or low glycemic, then I really want you to focus first on the carbohydrates, okay? So you're gonna look at the carbs and we're gonna subtract that fiber because fiber is a non-digestible carbohydrate. So therefore, it's not impacting blood sugar at all. Some. Presley, last time, mommy's trying to explain, okay? It is, it's pink bubble gum. It's pink bubble gum, okay, it's great, that's great. Can you let mommy speak? Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, so fiber is a non-digestible carbohydrate. So what we do, we look at the carbs. So with the Coochie Coos, one sucker, six carbs, five grams of dietary fiber. So we subtract that fiber from the carbs. We only have one net impact carb. So keep that in mind. I have a lot of people that are, you know, looking at the nutrition label and they just look at carbs and they're like, whoa, that's got 25 grams of carbs. That is too much for me. That is not the case if there is a lot of fiber and protein. And I'm gonna show you how to kind of scan the nutrition label to see where it falls within the glycemic index. Now, I myself have created a full list. If you want that list, then let me know. It's free. Just put glycemic index list, please, and I will send it to you. Um, but you need to eat, eat. Okay, so the next thing you want to look at is protein. There's no protein here. It's a pro or it's a lollipop. Okay, 14 calories, no fat. So it's pretty simple. We have one carb. It's a great option for a sucker for what it is. Okay, but I'm going to show you something that does have some fat, that does have some fiber, does have carbs, and I also want to point out that when you're consuming foods that are gluten-free, I know everyone loves some gluten-free. They love hopping on that wagon. And not to say it's not a good wagon to hop on. However, you need to understand gluten is a protein. So if we are removing gluten, we are removing protein. Protein aids in lowering the glycemic index of a food. So with this right here, this is not gluten-free, okay? I am not someone that is 100% all this, all that, all that. I am majority. I think everyone needs to choose the path they're taking, be the majority of the time, and splurge and bend and deviate at least five to 10% of the time, okay? And so she wants to be the helper. Oh. Okay, so, all right, let mommy do this. Okay, or we're not going to get any Nana Papples, okay? And uh, it's my birthday because okay, I'm going out to Nana Papples and get my birthday present. Yeah, okay, so mommy needs to explain this, okay? There okay, wasn't Nana. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Okay, so this is not the best brand. No, 100% it's not. The ingredient list is very large. So I want to show you what I do love, and it's the Be Free brand. However, this is a little bit higher on the glycemic index. It's still very good, but this has minimal ingredients. It is vegan, it is wheat-free, gluten-free, high in fiber, nut and egg-free, soy-free, vegan, all the things, right? So I'm gonna show you this in a second, but with the Extreme Wellness, these are huge, by the way. First, I'm gonna look at the carbs. Like I said, 24 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fiber, and let me do this, okay? You don't want mommy to yell at you, right? No. Okay, 
then let me do this. No, not right now. Okay, so we are gonna subtract 17 from the 24, and that is going to leave us with seven net carbs, okay? Now, we're looking at the protein next. So we have seven net carbs, we have eight grams of protein. Protein basically bridges the gap, okay? So you can almost subtract the protein as well. We have more protein than net impact carbs. Golden, that is as low glycemic as they come. And just to validate that, it says keto. Now, keto, keto will always mean low glycemic. Low glycemic is not always keto. And that's what I'm gonna kinda show you today. Uh, because keto is extremely low carb. It is 5% of your carbs are coming from, or of your calories are coming from carbs. The rest are coming from majority fat and then protein. So just uh, know that. And then you also wanna keep in mind the quality of fat. We don't want a lot of saturated fat. So with these, there's no saturated fat, two grams of fat. So it's a good option intermittently because again, it's not the best quality of protein that we're consuming because the third ingredient is wheat protein, gluten, okay? So those that are intolerant should not choose this. But again, for people that do not have a severe intolerance, I believe we all have some degree of an intolerance to gluten, but if you're doing intermittently, then you're fine. Okay, so with the Be Free brand, very great option, 15 grams of carbs, six grams of fiber, okay? So we subtract that, and then we look at the protein, okay? So, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, nine carbs that are net impact carbs, four grams of protein, so we can, can subtract that. So we've got about five grams of carbs, so, you know, this is not an exact calculation. Again, this is just the thought process that you should be taking when trying to understand glycemic index. So about five carbs that we have to worry about. And then we have some healthy fat. We have 2.5 grams of fat, zero saturated. Right there, great option, great option. Okay, so now I want you to, and I'm just showing you some of my favorite brands because I love sharing, sharing is caring. This is a new brand to myself. I don't think that they've been out for more than a few months. They were kind enough to send me their protein mix. You can use this for cake, you can use this for a lot of different things. And if you want the link to order, I can save you, I think it's like 10% or something like that. So in the comments, drop protein link, please. But Flourish is the brand. They have plant-based and they have regular. And, and I don't wanna say regular, but they have Western, dairy, egg, and then this is the plant-based that is completely vegan. So there are only five ingredients, which is great. But here, we're gonna look at the carbs, 32, nine grams of fiber. So we subtract that fiber, and then we are looking at the protein, 11 grams of protein. So again, that is for a protein pancake mix, that is very good, especially for vegan. And the fat, 1.5 grams of fat, only 0.5 saturated. You guys, that's another point I wanna make. With vegan, with vegetarian, it is very difficult to find low glycemic options. And the next thing I'm gonna show you are two different types of veggie burgers or vegan burgers. And honestly, there are very few brands that have quality ingredients low glycemic options that have high protein and that don't just have a ton of carbs because like the Morning Star brand, which Morning Star, it's because Costco dropped the ball, y'all. And they used to have uh, Dawn Farms, which was like a Chipotle burger and I love some Chipotle, uh, not the place, but the flavor. And I have been craving them and they just had this. So again, everything in moderation. I am not one that's gonna be like, oh, that has soy in it, I'm never gonna eat it. But I know it has some not so great ingredients, not to say soy is not a great option because if it's 
organic and it is in edamame form, it is in tofu, tempeh form, that is totally fine, miso. But when you're getting it shoved into things and it's like uh, soy particles, soy, um, what do they even call it on here? Soy concentrate and then there's wheat gluten in here. So these are not gluten free, these are not soy free. So this is something I would do no more than once a week. Okay, but it's, it's great because it can be kept in the freezer and you can just have it when you want it. Okay, but here is the thing. I got this because it is very low glycemic as well as this amazing brand, Dr. Prager's. I cannot say enough about this brand. Again, you have to get the right type of, um, the right type of burger because not every single burger type by Dr. Prager's is low glycemic, but the all American burger and the perfect turkey burger on point. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this again, low glycemic because we have 26 carbs, nine grams of fiber, we're subtracting that. So 27 grams, or I'm sorry, 17 grams of net impact carbs, 15 grams of protein, two remaining, right? And again, this is not an exact formula. This is just the thought process that I take and that I wanna teach my clients and anyone else that wants to listen. Five grams of fat, one saturated, not terrible. Low glycemic option, not quality ingredients by any means for a daily consumption, okay? Barbie phone, just in case. And Dr. Prager's, however, is something that if you loved it, you can consume it every single solitary day because it is soy free and gluten free and vegan. And right here, we have 10 grams of carbs, six grams of fiber, 22 grams of protein. That is legit. 12 grams of fat, 1.5 saturated. So you guys, it's totally fine because it's coming from sunflower oil, avocado oil, but the main ingredient, pea protein, there you go. Very minimal ingredients. So that is that. Uh, another thing, low glycemic, you know, everyone looks at chickpeas and they're like, oh my gosh, so many carbohydrates, but the fiber. So I love some spice. If you've not tried this brand, habanero, right? Habanero flavor. 16 carbs, six grams of fiber, six protein. You do the math, great option for a low glycemic treat. And then my favorite protein powder, if y'all wanna order, it's the best tasting I have ever found, the best quality, but the nutrition label for vegan, this is incredible, four grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, 18 grams of protein, and only three grams of fat, two saturated. It's amazing. It's amazing, okay? I gotta take, you know, I gotta like have a picture to. My child's getting a little finicky. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna wrap it up. Hey, you need a hush. We're almost done here. And so all I wanna say about that is macro counting is great if it is used secondary to understanding quality of food and how food impacts blood sugar because at the end of the day if your blood sugar is going all crazy it doesn't matter if you're sticking within your ranges by the end of the day um the protein powder is isogenic so you have to order through a link i am a brand ambassador so i do have a link if you are interested in ordering i'm going to tell you right now i'm a straight shooter it is not inexpensive However, it is quality. So I always urge people to get a really high quality protein powder, and then you can get something like Orgain that you can get at Costco for cheap, and then use it together. Or one day use the bomb diggity, and then the next day or two, use the other one. And then use it so you can really enjoy it when you do get to have it. Um, or just buy, buy a ton of it, and it'll be fantastic. We also have liquid collagen that is incredible. So, you know, I don't push supplements, but I really like to talk about the ones that I use because spot on. Okay, so that is it. And hopefully this was informative. Drop some value in the comments. Yes, if this was valuable. Caring is sharing. Sharing is caring. 
So if you do find this helpful, you can share the video. Facebook does not like me lately, so it doesn't show anyone my videos, unfortunately. So that's all right. Instagram still likes me. It's fantastic. So talk to you guys later.